Hello everyone, welcome to Chirac SQL Server Debate Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a snapshot replication in SQL Server. So we'll be using the two ways in SQL Server, using the SQL Server Management Studio Graphical User Interface and second is the using T-SQL script. So I'll show you the how to create the generate the T-SQL script and we'll follow the video. So now I'm going to with the SQL Server Management Studio for the snapshot replication. So go to your SQL Server Management Studio. We have a two servers are connected here. One is Chirag Lepi, one is Chirag Lepi slash, uh, slash uh, MS SQL Server 2. So both instances are running in the different location. Just assume that, but though both should have a connectivity so that replication should work. So now I'm going by one by one process. So there is a steps. So for that replication, I, I have some steps. So create the user. From here, I am going to the create the user. So user go to the computer management administrator and create the user. So uh, why I am writing all the four users because I am creating the same thing for the snapshot replication, distribution, uh, merge replication, and transaction. So I am generating all four. Okay. So helping that. So same thing you have to do with the uh, second machine. There I am creating the distribution and merge merge because merge has a have a uh, publisher and subscri subscriber subscriber and publisher sometimes just become a uh, subscriber subscribe sometimes become publisher because the database is going to merge in the merge replication so now we have we have a snapshot replication so go through the snapshot replication so here i'm creating the snapshot so go to the computer management right click on right click on windows logo go to the computer management go to the users and right click on the users create new and just give the name name for that uh, you have any doubt then um, just follow the transition replication first part there i have used, uh, i have created the users so this is the process so here i am creating all four user distribution log reader merge and snapshot i have given the password so remember the password with them so now move to the next so pre prepare for the snapshot folder so go to the uh, browse the file this is the my path so in this path inside the data i have created one rpl data folder and right click on that folder and give go to the permission go to the share properties go to the share and click on the advanced sharing permission i have added snapshot distribution and merge and snapshot i have given the full control distribution i have given the only read and merge also i have given the read so this permission i have given and next go to the security and add go to the edit and add the user accounts all the accounts what have oh, already written I go through this the permission security this part so this is the security seven number so add the add all three uh, snapshot distribution and merge and give the permission as per request snapshot is the full permission distribution only read and merge also only read so give this permission after that close that verify the uh, following permission if you have any doubt then right click on verify the permission whatever the permission you have given keep the sharing path in future use right click on properties go to the sharing this is my sharing network path so you just keep for the future use so now now connect so distribution if you are going to do the replication first time so you have the option to create the distribution so distribution already created just follow the my previous video uh, the transaction replication there i have already created the distribution and distribution video is already separate so we created the distribution database and create a database you want to have the database which one you want to publish so you can create the database if you want or if you have a already existing databases so no need to create so i have already existing database i will just generate one of uh, that database for the snapshot replication so next so 
login search and follow the so database permission or the on publisher machine means first machine we have a so go to ms ssms security right click on the logins and add all the login so add all the login and give the database distribution and public uh, whatever the database you want to go to publish so give the db owner for that database so go that security right click on the logins new logins there is option search advanced and find and here just add the users i already added the users so no need to add from uh, for me so add the users click on ok and you will get a user so go to the user properties user mapping so one of more database inaccessible will not be displayed in the list okay one database is in uh, recovery mode so the database for the database we are getting error so just assume uh, one data uh, select one database i'm selecting donation database is there so click on donation there is a db owner click on db owner click on ok do the same thing for all the users user, user mapping donation db owner ok merge donation so no need to give for the uh, merge also but i am giving that's not an issue later on we will just remove so donation db owner so we selected the database donation donation database this one we are selecting for the replication and because your dbd rental uh, new restoring i am getting error so i am going to delete this database for now go to the next steps now do for the all three first part is done and i'm going for the second part here configure the replication between the full connected server there i am snapshot replication so i'm going for the snapshot so go to your public set database Go to the replication, publication, new publication. Go to the next. I'm going to select the donation database. Go to the next. There is a snapshot publication is there. Go to the next. Article, which table I want, <coughs> I want to use, uh, use for that. So admin table is there, user info table is there. Both the table I'm adding. Go to the article properties and go to the properties. If you want to change any properties, you are for your requirements so you can change it action if name is huge so there is a one thing is that drop existing object and create a new new one and delete data or use the same uh, same ob uh, article object or truncate all the data from existing object you want to change anything and you can change so uh, and more options are in above so you copy the foreign key constraints for copy the primary key constraint to so if you want to add the foreign key constraints or to copy so you can make it in true go to the next if you want to add any filter table just like a, any condition that you don't want the uh, first name last name or if uh, email address is empty then you don't want to replicate that uh, data so you can filter table you can create here go to the next i want to create snapshot immediately keep the snapshot available for initialize, initialize subscription or there is a schedule the snapshot agent for that when the flowing time uh, flowing time so click on that there is a security setting snapshot agent so click on this and keep the snapshot details here let me get the snapshot the password click on ok go to the next create a publication and generate the subscription or step to create the publication give the publication name so this one donation the 
this for e e so this one this one for so that is a transaction this one i'm giving the snapshot name so you can recognize click on ok two articles are added in success so this is my synapse uh, synapse replication go and uh, view the synapse agent property 100 percent is delivered so now you can go to your rpl data folder and you can see there is your snapshot replication is created so this one for public snapshot donation here inside that you you can see your tables name and views name or stored procedure names right? now next is i'm going to configure the subscriber for the this snapshot replication so see that we don't have any donation table don't have any donation table we are going to configure the subscriber so right click on that go to the new subscription widget wizard and click on next so donation donation for this snapshot click on next run on the and here i'll use add the subscriber or i have a non sql server subscriber i can add from that so add the sql server subscriber so this is my second machine second machine this one i'm going to add that one so added i'm going to create a new database because we don't have we don't have the non same database so click on new database and give the name for the donation click on ok so donation database is created click on next here distribution ag uh, agent security so distribution details i have to provide here so this is my distribution Give the password password is a confirm password click on ok go to the next run continuously click on next immediately next next okay this is created successfully go there and view the status the starting agent or now go to the second database database is not reflect and database object are not reflected because i have to give the permission for description also and here also i have to give the public access list so first machine give add the distribution uh, to distribution database and in the subscriber machine go to the distribution widget Go to the property user mapping and give the permission for donation user uh, db okay now go to the first machine and view the okay could not access the database this one the agent is start it's already running Refresh that subscription status go to the monitor Okay, we have some issue. Let me check with the agent. We have completed subscription. Initialize. It's running now. Let's close. See, one transaction and 13 commands are delivered. Okay. Go to the second machine. That is my. click on that tables and this replace yeah the data database is reflected there so this is this is the our snapshot replication so in this video we learn about uh, this video will learn about the how to create the snapshot replication in sql server okay. thank you for watching hope this will help